day two guys morning it is let's check the time 5 56 in the morning so we had a really good sleep last night i think we fell asleep just after eight o'clock so came in did some hot and cold ate a couple of meals before bed and then just switched off and just chilled because i chilled it was really nice today we have first up car walk and then log press feeling good Feeling nice and chill, just order some breakfast. The Mulligan's going to come in, we're going to do a little interview with them, a little chat, and then get down to the nitty gritty of competing today. So we will update you along the way. We'll try and keep it as casual as possible because I think once you start doing an interview and everything, it really like hinders the moment and it's not as natural as it actually is. But Luke's got a bit of time this morning, so we'll probably just have a 10 minute chat and that's it. Luke, just the one question really. How did day one go? Mm -hmm. um, and what's your intention to do today? And also if you could just start it by like stating what time it is and what you do right now. So today is, I think we're about half six in the morning, or seven o'clock in the morning. Um, on day two of World's Strongest Man in Sacramento, California. <coughs> So just having breakfast, ready to compete in day two. Um, yesterday went really well. I'm tired now, I can't be arsed. It's too early in the morning to eat. What are we packing today? So for the car walk, it's just running shoes, knee sleeves, belt. And then for log for reps, it's lifters, knee sleeves, belt, elbow sleeves and then mouth guard for both events and that's it and wrist wraps for the lug and Tom will decide apparently but lying in bed like so that's Tim Paz like that we're going down to do hot and cold because I ain't going to sleep at 7 o'clock like. How are you feeling today? Yeah. We are off to Target. We're gonna make some Stoltman signs. We went into Target, which has everything apparently, and we've got sign making equipment. Uh -huh. um, and we're gonna make a big sign like this. We're gonna tape the back together so you can just open it up. And if we do it right and we don't make too many mistakes, we can get three signs. I'm hoping for two. One would be good. And then we've got size of that pen. It's called a magnum pen. And a ruler to get those lines straight. Mine means that 2022, the World's Strongest Man is coming home to Scotland. Uh, leave a legacy, as per usual, the boys are, are doing that, leave a legacy. And their name is underneath the Stoltman Brothers, and I'm hoping they get to see this, because I'm really proud of my work. I think it's very good, Jordan. Thank you. Okay, so I'm really happy with mine. Um, this is just facts, they're the strongest brothers to ever live. You've got chili there, LFG, nice and spicy. And I think I've won the competition. Be around the back, I'm going to try on the side. Right, see you in seven. Oh, yeah. Easy. First event. Nice stroll in the park again, huh? It's not bad, isn't it? Not bad. Not bad. Did you guys see it? Do you see it? We just yes. managed to catch this, yeah. It was light. Do, do you want to so see something? Oh. Okay. Let's come and all. Let's come, go over beside him. Go over beside him. Yeah. Come on, let's go Celtic. <laughs> they won't be singing trophies anymore. Uh, being so close to Luke, how, how is it? 
Compared to yesterday morning, he's a lot more relaxed. Now that the competition started, I think it's a lot easier for the athletes to, I wouldn't say calm down, but they kind of know where they are. They kind of know what they have to do rather than going full force on day one, just to like, make the points clear. Okay. So the athlete tent, I wouldn't say it's tense. I say it's a bit more relaxed. I think this morning we found out Evan's competing again. Mm. How did, how did we react to that? I think I was quite happy for Evan. I think if the shoe was on the other foot and um, that was Luke yesterday, touch wood. You know, you train so hard for these events and you train for months on end and I think it means a lot to Evan to compete so Luke understands that and Luke is quite happy that Evan was back in and obviously fellow athlete. Um, be a good competition. Might make it all here today. <laughs> Different weather in Scotland. Perfect. This event too, how'd it go? Yeah, nice and easy, through to the final. Now it's time to get spicy in the finals. Gonna win it again. Back to back, baby. Day two is finished. There we go. And uh, Luca Tom had fantastic days. I believe. Tom, are you allowed to say these results? No. Pa? Pa Dwyer? Oh my. Can I get a selfie? <laughs> Can I ask uh, did you watch Poppy? Yes, I'm a Turk or Kashmir Tarko. Turkish Tarka is a bit Turk. Yes, Poppy. 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 Yes, Oh, can you just say hi to Shirley for me? Shirley. Hey Shirley, how are you doing? Luke Stoltman here. Hope you're having an awesome day and you're staying spicy. Thank you so no much. No worries, my pleasure. Well, this is weird. <laughs> you have it to shut up. <laughs> Cushy's worse than me, man. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Stoltman, world's longest man, 222. Yeah. You said it, my man. Absolutely. Thank you guys, right, I'm gonna head off. <laughs> Cheers. Tom, stop it, you're amazing. <laughs> so was, uh, you're such a <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, man. That was an easy one. It was, yeah, it was, a, it was okay, yeah. Day two finished. And all I can say is day three is gonna be very easy for me which I'm very happy about. What does this mean? This means it's going to be a very easy day. <laughs> I don't want to say what it means because all you guys know anyway. Hit 10 reps in the log there. Yeah, really comfortable. Really happy with that. I think it was another couple of reps if I had to have. But yeah, I was looking at Dan for Evan. I don't know what happened to Evan there. He only got one rep. Again, Evan, speedy recovery. But I asked what, Dan, uh, what Evan had done to Dan. And he went, I thought you said one more rep. I needed at nine reps, so I did another rep. And then he said after me, he says, Evan's done one rep, don't worry about him, do nine reps. So, yeah, I'm happy. It's, it's a great um, great start to World Strongest Man 2022 for me. So, really excited for the final. Again, thank you for all the support, guys. It's been amazing. All you guys coming out here and watching it. I know it's really hot out here. Huge shout out to all the fans. And yeah, I'm happy. Excited for day three. Yeah. It was a nice week. Night pass, said, yeah. A warm up for the final, so it was good. I'm only joking, it was really hard. I'm <laughs> tired. Are you excited? I feel like I've slept with a hanger in my mouth. I'm sorry if I have anything in my teeth because this is how I feel. So day two was amazing. I think Luke and Tom did extremely well. I think day three, without saying the results of today, it'll be a nice easy day for Luke. So um, I think the one word that you can describe this day as Stoltman domination. Uh, yeah, day two was good. It's nothing to get excited about yet, it's just a qualifier. I just wanted to take all the boxes to go through it. As you could see, I didn't raise so much emotions. Uh, it was cool, calm and collective. Obviously, the final's where I want to be. The final's where I'm going to turn the show on and, yeah, dominate the final, that's the plan. So, I didn't want to uh, exert too much energy. I just got the job done, like I said, and both of us through and we'll both be ready. But yeah, like I said, I can't 
have any better than that, smashed it. The way it works is you compete Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you rest Friday, and you do the, the final Saturday, Sunday. At every event I did, I kept my emotions, I didn't really get too hyped up, because like I said, I don't want to start getting hyped up and doing stuff like that in a qualifier. I just wanted to get the job done, no mistakes, and see where I was, and yeah, everything felt good, pressing felt good, deadlift felt great. Car walk felt great, law press felt great, gives me in good stead for the final. Big massive shout out to all the fans on the YouTube, on social media, thanks for all the good luck messages, thanks for the family, but yeah, guess what, back to back's coming. I'm still in third gear, so it's all good, it's all chilled, chilled out and relaxed. Joey, what do you think of the room, bro? Um, <laughs> as every champion should have, yeah, I think this is the way it should be, yeah. It's probably about four times bigger than the room me and Neil have shared right now. Stronger than you, but stronger than any living person. Yeah, so yeah, Tom is the, the strongest man. And the great thing is with, with Tom as well, not the great thing, but the, the kind of inspiring thing is like with Tom is he's got the autism as well. So, um, you know, he's gone through all that adversity. He's kind of pretty important. World's strongest man, first time, like you, you called it, you said you're going to win in 2021. You had that hunger for it. There's a thing now where you've won World's strongest man. What's the driving factor and driving force now? Like what makes you want to win it again? So we're in front of uh, Sinead. Like I said, I never won. I've not actually won a World Strongest Man without Shere being here, without people being here, so do that again. And I'm, like I said, I'm doing two different approaches. Last year I was all vocal about it, and, but this year I don't have to be. And I proved myself last year that I'm the best in the world. Why do I have to go out and prove it again? Why don't I just sit down, shut up, be in silent, and let other people try and take the title off me, and I'll, you know, come up and burn them alive, basically. You know, so I'm got all that thoughts and stuff in my head, I'll say it to Sinead, but I won't put it on social media. And yeah, so it's here. Okay, last last one then on that on that point is why does it why is it important for you to win in front of Sinead? Because uh, obviously she's been there since day one, she's sacrificed a lot. After this competition I'm planning of taking like you know a few months off just to you know, have kids travel the world, you know, I've been with Sinead ten years and I've not had a holiday with her, which is bonkers, you know, I've been well we've pr travelled the world but I've still I've only done it for a strong man for a job. Uh, yeah, not not done much stuff with her, not you know, being able to spend quality time with her. I mean, this prep for me has been really good with her because we're seeing each other, we're you know spending times on weekends and stuff. That's it. No, that's pretty well. Cool, cool, cool. Happy, oi, oi, oi. Huh? Happy. Yeah, more than happy. Sure, yeah. yeah Tom, 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 Tom gets to the point like with it all. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Hey guys, if you want to bring a merch. Leave a legacy, a swing up little bird. <laughs>